Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com and it's time for a quick tip and this week's quick tip revolves around spraying and praying so it's not a, I want to rant on it but I'm gonna make it a quick tip instead of a rant spraying and praying what that means is you just sit there and you go do, 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 and you hope that you get a good picture well most of the times you may maybe you'll get something out of it but one you're wasting time you're shooting way too many pictures then you're gonna to have to go edit those pictures you're filling up cards you're not anticipating the moment so when it comes to taking photographs think about what you're about to do set your camera to single until you get into the habit of anticipating the moment and feeling it before you shoot a picture limit yourself to one shot and here's a good way to limit yourself imagine that every time you take a picture it costs you a dollar a dollar so if you come back and you shot 600 pictures in a one hour span you just spent six hundred dollars and did you get any good images I don't know but if it's costing you a dollar every time you press the button are you gonna make it worth your while when you do press the button yeah you're going to do that so th this is how you do it anticipate the moment if somebody blinks a lot instead of just motor driving through it anticipate the blink you can see them blink once and then talk and just know when it's gonna happen you can feel when somebody's either gonna blink or they're not gonna blink and you just beat them to it that's one thing to do if somebody's blinking if you're shooting sports wait for the peak action to happen somebody's coming around the bend well wait till they get around that bend and then boom shoot them wait till the basketball player is at the top of their arc to shoot a picture don't sit there when a baseball player is swinging and go and try to get that perfect moment when you're better and you've and you've gotten down the anticipation of the moment then you can start shooting a little quicker I mean when I shoot quicker I don't shoot nine frames a second though my camera can I do a burst of two or three I do a burst for certain reasons because I'm looking for something but I'm also not overshooting just just remember that every time you press the button it's a dollar if you just hold the button down you get five frames a second and you shoot five frames in one second that's five bucks if you do that thing ten times you're fifty dollars out of your pocket so you know try not to spray and pray anticipate feel the moment I mean it, it comes down to a feel if you sense that it's gonna happen get ready and get it shoot that picture boom shoot that next picture boom don't sit there and go Broom, broom. I, I see people do this all the time. They take three pictures every time they press the button. Well, that's just a waste. And don't do these things where you hold it above your head. Don't do these things where you hold it below. Just know that no, most of the time, those aren't going to work. Is it worth that dollar to take that picture? Is it worth that five dollars to hold that button down? Are you actually getting something of the kid on the swing when you're just holding the button down and you're really not seeing what you're doing? Or are you better off feeling that moment where the kid is on the swing and they're at the apex and you get the smile and you're like, boom, I got it. And then you try it again the next time, boom, I got it. Then you move on to the next shot. So that's my quick tip. Don't spray and pray. Think that every time you press the button, it's costing you a dollar. So the more you shoot, the more money it costs you. So the whole point here is to make you shoot less, but get better quality images. So it costs you a lot less money. Less money is better. You don't want to spend too much. So yeah, that's what it's all about. Anticipation, feel the moment, shoot less, but take better pictures when you shoot less. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. The quick tip is brought to you by, well, sponsored by Allen's Camera. Uh, been there since 1977, which is actually before I was born. As you can see, I'm on allenscamera.com. Not fully up and functional yet, but they are working on that store finally. They do have a temp store up, and you can always like them on Facebook. Uh, it's where I've been buying my gear, all the pro gear I have since I don't even know when. Uh, probably the last 10 years, and I get all my used gear uh, and new stuff there. So... If you need some uh, stuff, they compete with the big boys. Check them out. Give them a call. Go onto the website. Now on to the quick tip.